welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. So I, as you can tell, I have a rack here to share with you all of my Love Notion makes that I absolutely love. A few of them I have made different iterations of and have a couple of, and so I wanted to share that with you today. Also, for those who are new to the channel, I am a Love Notions Patterns brand ambassador, which means I do have affiliate links, which also mean if you click on those links, I do receive a commission from that. And so for those who continue to support, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I really do. So let's hop right on in. So I thought I would, this is way easier to present. Um, I have done, just so you all know, I have done reviews on all of these garments. And so what I will do, because I have created a playlist specifically for Love Notions patterns that I have sewn. And so you can go to that playlist and go through and see my review. A few of these items I was a tester for. And so you'll see some of the fit different things that I did um, for the garment for me. And so for, for reference, for those who are tuning in for the very first time, I am 5'7". That is my height, my current measurements for full bust is about right now 45, 46. Waist is about a third of 40, 40. It's about 40. And my hip is sitting at about 52. Um, and so, yeah, that just from a reference standpoint for those who might be newer to the channel. So let's go ahead and jump into these pieces. So the first piece I want to jump into is the latest to the Love Notions uh, collection that, that I have. And these are actually featured currently. So go over, head over to the Love Notions channel. Uh, these are featured over there. I did a video on some of the things I'm going to share with you today. So I won't go into any of that. All of that will be on that channel over there. But I have made two of the Love Notions Oakley vests. Um, this one is beaded and I shared that. I even shared how I beaded. It was my first time beading. So you all know I picked up some beads a few months back. And I said I was going to be working on a project. This was that project. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I got those beads a long time ago because I wanted to just kind of do my research, figure out, okay, how do I put the beads on and um, all that good stuff. So head over to Love Notion so you can hear all of the details about that. But one of the things I will share for both of these actually, remember this, and I'll leave a link to... I don't know what fabric is going to be available. Probably nothing. I don't even know if this is still available at, um, this was from Mood. Remember that cotton tweed I picked up from Mood? Uh, what was that a couple months ago now? Uh, yes, this is what I bought it for. It was for the vest and I interlined it. Isn't that uh, lining absolutely gorgeous? This lining is a polyester lining from um, Joanne Fabrics. So I'm not going to link that, but, <laughs> but, and I did bind, self binding. Um, you'll learn more about that, but I also did some polyester black binding and this version, I did not add a zipper on the front, but again, you want to learn more about all of the details. It is completely everything. All the seams are finished off. There is nothing raw showing on the inside of this and actually with the beading. Um, you can't even uh, see, obviously I didn't be through the um, lining there. So if you want to hear all about that, head over to Love Notions channel. I talked all about it and I showed you how I beat it, how I interlined it. Same with this one. This is the other vest. Now this uh, fabric is already pre-patched. Uh, pre it is a denim patchwork from Joanne Fabrics and they carry this every all year long for the most part and usually i see it more towards now it's available in the store but absolutely love this i've made a few things out of this patchwork denim but at any rate this one i actually not only did i interline it but i also quilted it this was my first time quilting and so um you'll get all those caveats but i showed you how i quilted it i showed you um how i interlined it and everything 
over on the Love Notions channel. So head on over there to check that out. I got some tips. Actually, I saw a few comments over there. I got some tips on 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 uh, quilting um, as well. So head on over there. Comments are awesome. The other thing I want to share with you, I'm going to share this part at the end of the video, and I will leave a timestamp so you can skip to it if you just don't want to see any of this and you just want to know this last part I'm getting ready to share. Um, but it will be at the end of this video and then I am actually going to clip that video and make a separate video that will go up on Friday. So stay tuned for that, but what am I talking about? So for this uh, quilted version, you all know I make handbags and if you've seen any of my handbag videos, I've done a few sew alongs for some handbags and um, cosmetic totes, you all know that I have a very pretty good stash of hardware, bag hardware, continuous zip, all of that. And I actually like using, you all know if you've watched some of my videos, I like using continuous zip in my garments. And so, but with continuous zip, you know it's just a roll of zipper tape. And maybe people don't know. Let me grab some continuous tape. I'll be right back. Okay, for those who might not know, uh, when you have continuous tape for bag making or for something like that, it just, it's, it is what it says. It's continuous tape. It does not have any zipper pulls on it. As a matter of fact, you can buy continuous tape in different designs, different colors, um, all kind of fun looks and everything. That's what I like about continuous tape because there's so many fun designs and colors out there. And so it comes, depending on how many yards you get, um, I have a lot. I think this is a probably a yard here probably a little over maybe yeah about a yard here so no zipper pulls on here at all and so what I did was I'll throw this over my shoulder what I did was use my continuous tape to make um my zipper for the front of the Oakley and you will notice I'll hold this up here there are zipper stops at the bottom that I have added to my continuous tape and zipper stops at the top. So if you do have continuous tape and you're wondering, oh, I wanna be able to add the zipper to it with the zipper stop and stop it from you know, going off the top or the bottom, I show you how to do that. And again, I'll share that at the end of this video. Check the time step if you wanna see how to add uh, zipper stops to your continuous zipper tape. Or obviously if you have a long zipper, you can always shorten it um, as well. But yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. But this is my denim version. I absolutely love it. I will pop up pictures of me in both of these. But yeah, head on over to the Love Notions channel so you can learn more on how I quilted and interlined my Oakley vest. And remember, right now, October 2nd through October 6th, Friday, October 6th, all of Love Notions patterns and uh, courses are on sale for 40% off. If you use my code, so natural dang four, I'll put that on the screen. You get an additional 10% off. It does not include the Largo Cargos. That was newly released, so it will not include the Largo Cargo. But head on over to Love Notions website. Use my links. They will all be down below for all of these, as well as the general link to the website. So let's finish up. So the next garment item on here is, is this my only dress? No, I have three dresses to share with you, four. Um, I'm actually wearing, uh, I'll save this because I have three of these. <laughs> but anyway, this is the, if you saw my, and I remember to pop up pictures or video, whatever I have over here. I made, this was a hack, uh, my first hack. I had so much fun, like first I guess real serious hack, I guess. Um, and I had so much fun. But what I did was I, this is the Love Notion Sybil, um, the Sybil skirt collection. And so I did added that, you can't really tell. And then this top part, cause all of the um, design and everything, but down from here down is the Sybil skirt that in the Sybil is, this was a perfect hat because the Sybil is made for knits. And so um, easy to add on to something. But in my video, I did share, you know, how I went about doing it, but I added this to the Mia crop top, which actually I also um, changed this to be ties. 
um, over the shoulders. But yeah, so the civil skirt, which is something I want to make more of, and because they can be easily added on to, there's so many variations for the civil. And so, and I'll have the pattern popped up here. But as you can tell, so many options there, and you can um, hack it onto other Love Notions tops. Um, or if you have other patterns, I mean, I use a different pattern for this one. And so if you have other patterns, you can use those skirt bottoms and hack them onto uh, tops of something else or other love notion patterns. I won't go into this because I'm sure y'all tired of hearing me talk about it, but I love these Largo cargos. I have another one of these planned. Um, yeah, a fun pair planned. A lot, lots of fun. But remember I did the um, contrasting details with the animal print for the uh, belt loops, the facing, because it doesn't have a waistband. Remember it has a facing that goes on the inside. Again, I won't go over uh, everything here, but head over to uh, my Love Notions playlist and you will see this. And um, I was a tester for it and you'll be able to see the fit and everything because this one does have a full belly option, which was perfect for me as you all know when I talk about my um the lower belly here uh protrudes currently um at least at the time I was making this a little above outside of my hips so I definitely needed more room there and so yes the love notions Largo Cargo same with the Love Notions Glissando. You all know I love these purple. I always wanted a purple denim skirt and I have it. The Love Notions, um, the Glissando also has um, the uh, full belly option. So, and I use that for this as well. So again, playlist, you can get all of the details. I actually have or had two of these this is the love notions metro blazer i had another one i think it accidentally became uh, part of a pile of clothes when we moved there were some things i donated to goodwill and all of that i think that the navy blue one was a product of that i can still fit that i don't because i can't find it i'm like i know i didn't give it away but i might have accidentally put it in my uh goodwill pile so i definitely want to make another navy blue one because i did wear it over things and it just went with so much but this is a burgundy one that i did and the only change i made here besides not adding the pockets um to the uh to the metro blazer is i shortened it and added elastic at the this about comes to my elbow, I want to say. And so that's what I did with this version. Again, it's something I can throw over. Um, it can go over this, as a matter of fact, um, that I'm wearing. And I'll tell you what I'm wearing here in just a moment. But it can go over this or any other dress as well. And again, like I said, I um, did not add the pockets and I just added elastic at the uh, elbow. This is the... Arlington and so I have made I feel like I made I made two of these again I'm not sure if some of my stuff by accident went to <laughs> the Goodwill because I had a black one of these and I don't know where it's at um so again I just think I accidentally donated it but I have this navy blue one I actually wore this one to under a vest I had on for BHM pattern designers the event this year and so this is perfect for transitioning to fall um I just did the regular short sleeve version and it does have the band at the bottom you don't have to put the band at the bottom as a matter of fact I think for any future versions I probably won't because I think I I know not I think I know I do prefer things just to skim over the fullest part of my stomach as opposed to um, sitting there. And so, yes, absolutely love that. And it is absolutely perfect for fall. And then I'm going to share these with you. So all three of these, <laughs> what I am wearing, and these two are all the title dress and top. I made a top version that I wore with the skirt um, for, I forgot where I was going, but anyway, wore this with the skirt. I have this one on. I believe I was a tester for this, for the re-release or I can't remember. But anyway, you'll see in the video. And then this one, you know, I just made, this was part of my Destashify make. And so the full dress with the sleeves. So you all know I love sleeveless, but you also know if you've been watching my channel, I am desperate need, need of things that have sleeves on them. And like I was saying, I can pair this over 
this dress if I really because it's still honestly it's still pretty hot here um, in Texas but if I was out and about and you know I'm going somewhere cool and I want to wear this I mix colors so you guys don't be scared to mix colors please don't be scared to mix your metals if you have some gold in something uh, a gold belt silver hoops or opposite or what mix your metals mix your colors have fun with your dressing we spend time uh, with all our sewing and everything have fun with your accessorizing and everything as a matter of fact I was telling my husband because I think when he all the time he see me in something I met, we take pictures and all that. Uh, he was like, oh, I, you wore that necklace before. <laughs> Not that I need to have a different piece of jewelry for everything I wear, but I would like to have as many pieces in, as possible. And I do know from our move, I did get rid of a lot of costume jewelry I had because it had badly tarnished and everything like that. So I do need to go pick up some more pieces and I enjoy. Now for my costume jewelry, I totally enjoy going to thrift stores, um, usually thrift boutiques. I, I prefer to go to the boutiques as opposed to say Goodwill or something. Um, but the boutiques usually have some really good items. So I, I need to do that soon. Anyway, sidebar. Um, this is, and I don't know why I only have one of these, uh, but this is the Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. Absolutely love this. This was made in a viscose, um, viscose twill, one of my favorite woven fabrics. But um, absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? I need more of these. And I actually had a total of four of these, but the other ones became too big and they were like, and it was my first time making them and so my neckline wasn't sewn the best so they were really like falling all over the place so I, I know I had uh, given those away so I had originally four of these but again you'll see that in the playlist the next are four <laughs> four of the harmony blouse this is such an easy pattern you guys I say definitely make it definitely grab it if you need a simple quick blouse you all know I just made this actually last month in September. I made the animal print version that I wore with the Largo Cargo. And this one I actually shortened by, I believe I said two inches. And that will be my permanent look for the um, Harmony because it is quite flowy. But I think my original one is just a tad bit longer than I would like. And um, so it will always get, you know, that tuck in the front. Uh, look but this yes absolutely love the length I didn't do anything else to it other than just shorten it by two inches um, this is the original version I made these three actually are also featured on love notions channel I share this harmony blouse that I did sleeveless but the difference with this one remember is I added a tie in the back and I also interlining, interlined it with the Pico, um, uh, Trico, sorry, Trico um, lining on the inside. And so I showed you how I did that, all of that over on Love Notions channel, how I lengthened it and how I um, interlined it with the Trico lining. So you can check that out. And then these were just other versions that I did. Another viscose uh, chally here absolutely love it and if you can tell this one is a little bit longer now this one is longer but this is made out of Ankara so the Harmony is made for more drapier flowy fabrics y'all know I don't always go by what's recommended as long as I think there's a fabric substitution that I want to use that I think will still work and that is how this one was for I absolutely love this fabric I forgot Get who I got this from but um, this is made out of Ankara and so it is cotton so it's a little bit it's not I won't say stiff but it's not as flowy drapey you see this is flowy drapey this one is not but I love the way this sits um, and I wore this with a skirt and again I'll pop up a picture love 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 have fun and I also did ties on this one too in the back so again have fun with your garments then the last two I will share with you is, I made this two months ago, I want to say. This is the, um, the ballot blouse. And this one, remember, has the shirring 
I love this. I want another ballet blouse. I like flowy if you can't tell. I love wearing dresses and I love flowy. <laughs> Things that don't necessarily hug. Now, I know that might be contradicting with this. The tempo, I just like, it does hug, but then it kind of has that A-line effect towards the waist down. But absolutely love this. And remember, these were the buttons I use. These, I sell these on my website. This is by Pigeon Wishes. I am a stockist here in the US for her. So yeah, you can shop her buttons on my website, so naturaldane.com. Um, but absolutely love, love, love how this turned out and I want another, I want another. Um, and also this is the salt whistle. And so if you all remember when this dropped, I was a tester for this as well. So I go into all the fit stuff in my video, but remember this is one that uh, Kiera from Island Socialist was a um, co-designer with Love Notions on and she did a dress version. A lot of people did the dress version cause you can do a top or a dress. So you have the, um, top or dress option with this, but absolutely love. And again, this is something that I can definitely put a cardigan over. You know, Love Notions have different cardigan patterns. Um, this can definitely be worn under uh, something like that if you wanted to, or styled all kind of ways, but I do. I wear all of these. And so that's one thing I will say about uh, this pattern and other patterns that you see. There are certain styles and things that I will sew multiples of, as you can see some examples here on the rack. Um, is definitely more of the car Largo cargo is coming and more of the, probably not until spring, summer, um, another uh, skirt. But yes, I absolutely love everything that I have made and I thank you all for continuing to support. So that is my fall roundup patterns that I have made that can get you ready for fall sewing and also take advantage of the 40% off sale for Love Notions until October 6th. You so natural dame four at checkout. And so that is it, everybody. I'm gonna wrap up. And so for those who are interested, please stay tuned to the next clip and I will be sharing with you how to put zipper stops on continuous tape. And if you missed that, It'll, the separate video for that will go up on Friday, October 6th. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. You all have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you on Sunday. Bye. Okay, do you have continuous tape and you would like to use it to insert it into your garments? As easy as this. and add stoppers to the top, then continue watching. Okay, so the supplies you will need are something like this to squeeze the closures closed. So if you have something like this to close them, that will be great. You will also need some type of glue. I am using the clear Gorilla Glue pen which is very easy to use because it has a very narrow tip that you can squeeze the glue out of. You'll also need your continuous tape. Now for continuous tape, as you know, it comes on rolls depending on how much you have. Um, I would wait until you have installed the zipper to know how much to cut off at the top. At least that's how I handled it. But make sure your zipper has been added. As you can see, the zipper is added on here. And then you have the bottom. So we will address the bottom. You want to make sure it's nice and even. Um, and then you can eat, you have a couple options. You can either burn the bottom. So these threads won't continue to unravel the tape side, um, on the side of the zipper coils. Do not fray. You can burn it or you can use glue and also, um, which will keep it from fraying as well. You can use the same glue. And the last and most important thing you're going to need are these little gadgets. <laughs> so these are your zip zipper pulls and stops. It comes in a nice little kit. This came off of Amazon that there are other options. You might have some of your handbag stores that might sell them, but 
um, very easy, quick off of Amazon. And it comes with quite a few, as you can tell here. And it comes in different colors. You have your bronze, you have your gunmetal, and you have your nickel. And so for this particular uh, project that I'll be sharing with you today, the size of my zipper tape, this particular one and the one that's in the jacket is a size five a number five zipper tape with the number five zipper pull. And so when you do get your kit, you will see, and I'll actually pull this out just so you can see it a lot more clear. So I pulled it out so you can see there is a number five. So I pulled it out so you can see that's the bottom that will go at the bottom of your project. It's a number five, so you know that is the piece that you would use to put at the bottom. And then the part that slides into this, as we see on regular zippers, here is the piece that you will use that will slide in. And I will show you that. The, this particular piece is not numbered, but you will be able to tell which piece goes into the slider. And then you have the stoppers that are at the top. So here are the stoppers that go at the top. As you can tell, the one on the right is a little bigger than the one on the left. And so the one on the left is bronze and the one on the right is gunmetal. We will be using, because I am going to show for demonstration purposes, the uh, bronze one in our demo today. Um, but I want to share with you the different sizes so you can see the different sizes. So if you're using a, a bigger zipper tape or something like that, you would want to use the one that is on the right. But we are using today for the number five zipper to as a stopper, the one on the left. So I'm going to cut this to make sure it's nice and straight for the most part, all the way across. So you wanna just make sure it's nice and even, nice and clean. So I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. So now that you have your zipper tape, grab um, something like this, uh, pliers, pickers. I mean, if you're into bead making or something, you might have these tools already. <clears throat> but what you wanna take off are, so pull apart your, make sure, first of all, let's make sure our zipper is going, closing in the right direction, which this one is. Here's the, we want to make sure it's going up, but starting at the bottom, go ahead and pull this apart. And what you're going to do is take off three to four coils. And I will do that here. A little hard to do looking through the viewfinder and you will have pull a little bit of the uh, zipper tape away, but we'll clean that up. So just go ahead and pull the coil, as you can tell, it's just pulling. And then this allows you to clip, clip off. That was only two, so I am going to pull. You can just take your time with this because it can be just a little hard to get that. And as you, if you can hear that sound, that's me. Um, taking off the coils. So as you can tell, it, it frayed quite a bit, but don't be, don't be alarmed by that because what you can do is go back in and just clean that up. And I would say if you do have just a little bit, hopefully you can see that. See how that's raised, it's a little thick right there and you wanna be able to slide that piece on there. You can trim just a little bit of that away. That excess is just excess um, threads from the zipper tape. And so here you have now the zipper teeth coil have been pulled off and then you can test it by taking that piece that we just talked about and again these pieces are very small so just test it so when this goes down into the zipper 
let me just show you in the video on Amazon also shows this as well you want this pointy side see this side up here has a little bit more of a ridge and an angle and then this side angles off that's because that's the part that's going down into the zipper and you have an opening see that opening so what you want to do is take that piece I'm just going to show you and then you'll have to add the glue first so make sure that angled piece is facing down and what you're going to do is slide this on and there's not enough zipper tape zipper uh, coil taken off so I have to take off so that's probably six rolls of coil that has to come off and if you take off more coil than you need if you take 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 off an additional one or two coils that is no big deal it'll still open and close so that looks that looks like that should be pretty good and the thing like I said you're going to want to just clean that up because you want to be able to slide that on there so I'm just going to clean some of the fuzzies so I just cleaned off some of the fuzzies so you can see I took off I took off quite a bit that was probably six or seven rolls of coils on this side And then you want to do, before you add the glue, do a dry fit first. So you're going to see as long as this meets and you can slide it all the way down. And this here area just still needs a little bit of cleaning up. That's why I say just take your time with it. And it's okay if you have to go back in. There's a little bit of coil in here that I have to take out that I feel. There we go. There we go. All right. We are cooking with gas now. There we go. Okay, we're cooking with gas now. <laughs> so I've cleaned that up. And again, if you find that you still have to shave just a little bit, you, you don't want to cut the, you don't want to cut the tape, but you just want to make sure it's flat. So when I say make sure it's flat, you pretty much want it as clean as it is on the outer part of the tape. You want it as clean as you can get it on this part because it just makes it easier to slide that piece on. So... I'm going to go ahead and slide that over on this side, a dry fit first. Yay. I took off enough teeth. You can see that's a dry, that's uh, a dry slide on there. I just want to make sure I took off enough of the coils. So I am now going to add glue to that area. And have you a piece of paper or something underneath because what you want to do is put your glue on the tape in that area where you took off and not a lot of glue don't don't over glue just put enough there as you can tell on both sides just enough and you want to take your piece and slide it right on there And you want to leave that to dry. I would have it sit flat 
um, or hang over something, but make sure it's facing down. So if you do happen to use too much glue, the glue is dripping down and not dripping up into the coils, if that makes sense. So don't dry it hanging up this way, but make sure it's facing down. So if there's any excess glue, it's just dropping onto whatever you have it on. I have this on some paper and then we will do the other side and then you will want to let it dry overnight. That's just my recommendation. Make sure everything is set and then you want to do the same thing at the top, but let's go ahead and let this sit for a little bit and then we will do the other side. Okay, so this side is much easier because you're able to hold that piece in your hand. So this piece, as you can tell, almost looks like a boot um, of some sort. And you can see the opening on this side. And that's the side that you slide this in. And this is just a dry fit to make sure it's in ending in the right spot. And it is because we'll be able to slide this right inside of there. But go ahead, do the same thing you did on this side. Add the glue on both sides slide this on and let it dry so that has been added and again just let that dry the reason I let them dry separately is just so I don't bu keep bumping up against this side and it accidentally shifts or moves the other thing you can do before it fully dries is use this to, you will notice that where you slid the uh, the openings, you want to make sure those are closed around your uh, zipper tape. So you just wanna take this, as you can tell, and I'm just squeezing it. That's all I'm doing is squeezing it. And you wanna be careful. So I should have actually waited to this to dry. As I said, wait till it to dry just a little bit let it sit on here for a little bit and then use this to squeeze uh, that close and do that on both sides this one has been on for maybe 10 minutes so I can show you on this side you just really just take it and just squeeze it and that's just so not only is the glue keeping it in place but now you're closing that opening around the zipper tape as well Okay, so I have allowed my zippers that to adhere overnight. That's just what I like to do. But so you will notice at the bottom tape, it can, let me see if I can make this fray a little bit. You might have some fraying. So like I mentioned earlier, you can um, use some glue to stop that. Totally up to you. What I have done is use just the lighter, just to ever so slightly burn the edges. And now I have to do that one again, just to, to clean that up. But it's so, oh, I can probably scrape it off. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, so, Go ahead and split your tape apart because remember your zipper is up here and you wanna be able to take this part out. So go ahead and unzip and take that all the way out like you normally would a normal zipper. And now you have the two pieces and now you have your stop is in place. So you can go ahead and put that in. And now, it is in like so. And you'll be able to zip it as normal all the way up at the top. See there? And what I would do, this is at least what I did. I, once I put the bottom in, I then install the zipper into my vest, but I didn't cut in any of the tape off until after I knew how much I needed to take off from the top because remember what we did at the bottom, you have to do at the top. And so I installed the zipper into my vest and the next clip you'll see is my zipper installed into the vest and what I did to remove, which is the same as below, but then putting the smaller um, stoppers at the top. So once you have your continuous tape at the top, you cut off, leave a little room at the top of your garment or where you want it to stop, and then use some pliers to take off just a couple teeth of 
from your continuous tape. So that's what I'm going to do here. And do this before you attach. Make sure this is done. You just want to make sure it's measured properly. So as you can tell, I took off just a little bit and I clipped it. So there's just a little bit at the top. So here is the piece you're going to use. This stopper, if you can tell. This is the stopper. That is what you're going to use to keep the, once you zip up your garment, this is what's going to go in its place to keep it from the zipper from coming off. So I am going to go ahead and use this. You will need to be very careful because this piece is very small, so you don't want to lose it. But the first thing that you want to do is add glue to the end of your um, that where we just took off that coil. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of glue on the end. So here is that piece. It is very small. So it will be a little, you have to be very careful when you're handling it. So go ahead and take it <clears throat> and slide it over the top. Can you see that? I slid it right on over the top. You have something like this. And all you want to do is just press it closed. and press press as hard as you can see that press it as hard as you can and so what I am going to do is let this sit um, for maybe 30 minutes or so and then the stopper is there I'll show you at the end and then you can go ahead and sew down so once you sew down your let me just hold this so you can see so when you sew down your zipper you see that zipper stop at the top it will not come off so here is my completed vest zipper is fully installed i hope this tutorial helped you out use up your um, continuous zipper tape for your garments as well and hit this is an easy way to install the stoppers at the top and at the bottom. I will have a link to the uh, set in the description box from Amazon. You can head on over and try them for yourself. Have fun sewing.